Hey guys, Harvey here. Wanted to talk a little bit about magnets. Um, what we've got here, turn it around, is we've got an axial magnet, and we've got it wedged in there with a with a rubber band, and I've put a black mark on the end of the rubber band so we can see what the magnet's doing. And behind us, um, we've got evidently the interference pattern of the monitor interacting with the camera. Hopefully we'll be able to see what we want to see. Let's see if I can get out far enough here. Alright, we're going to bring the magnet into view here and we can we can see that uh, it's polar. We've got Different patterns based on how the how the magnet is, is positioned. Got a front and a back to it. Now, what I want to talk about is whether the field rotates with the magnet. So we can see here um, we can see here that we've got the the pattern on the screen, and we can see that the pattern moves with with the magnet. And if we arc the magnet one way or the other, we can see that the pattern arcs with the magnet. But what happens when we rotate the magnet on its B axis? What happens there? Huh? You guys see that? Let's try that again. Rotating the magnet on B axis. Sorry about that interaction between the camera shutter and the monitor interlace. Wow. You notice how the magnetic field is not rotating with the magnet. It will turn with the magnet. If we move the magnet around, we can change all different orientations this way, but not along its axial length. And that's something I wanted to discuss uh, a little bit because there seems to be some controversy about that. Faraday ran into this problem when he attached a disc to a magnet and rotated it and uh, that led to a bunch of different experiments. It led to the in machine. It led to a lot of different uh, ideas behind homopolar activity. But um, what do we see there? Now here's something to consider. This magnet is moving. Actually, went off screen. This magnet is is moving along with the Earth on the Earth's rotational axis. It's moving through space relative to the Sun, relative to our solar system. It's moving with the galaxy relative to the universe. So why does that field? Why does it seem to follow? the magnet laterally, but the field doesn't rotate with the magnet. What do we learn from that? Okay. Love those interference patterns, don't you? All right. We'll talk about that later. Oh, I got a bigger magnet here. Just before I take off. Yeah, just a second. Seems that it has found its way onto ten inch crescent wrench and a few other things. So there we go. Have a bigger magnet here. It's um, 
I don't know, one and a half inch disc. And you can see that uh, I'm, I'm quite a distance away from the screen, and it's affecting it a lot better than that little half inch Neo. But we'll try the same thing. Might be able to see some of the chip marks on there. We'll run that into the screen and we'll rotate that and um, let me put my hand on the glass that way we can see what we get on the movement obviously I'm not rotating it in the center of the axes but I think you can get the idea that the overall pattern is not rotating get some some sort of 3D effects off of that. Maybe you can tell what the field looks like. Does not rotate along the B axis. Okay, there's a reason for that that you guys think about it. Now I have to degauss my screen and hope that it goes back to normal, huh? Well, we'll catch you guys later.